Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't think I've ever filmed a video sitting here. Not too sure really why I've sat in front of a window, but we vibe because today I'm here with the show me a photo challenge that kind of was popular on Instagram a couple of weeks back. And then I saw a few people bring it to YouTube and I thought, you know what? I had so much fun doing this on Instagram that I kind of want to do it again, but show photos that I haven't previously shown. So I got you guys on Instagram to ask me for pictures that you've either never seen before, that you think might be private to expose my private instagram because that's fun right for you guys not really for me so i thought we'd just jump straight into it to be honest i haven't held back i've been pretty honest without further ado we're gonna get straight into it subscribe if you're not already subscribed i'm so excited about the content i have coming in february as well guys i've really planned some stuff that i'm excited about so we're gonna get started i screenshotted quite a lot of your questions and i'm gonna move this way slightly so that i can pop the photos here so i guess it doesn't matter that i'm in front of a window really the very first one was show us your most embarrassing private instagram picture and we'll start with this because <laughs> my private's not really that embarrassing I don't have a super scandalous life like you guys see me for what I pretty much am but obviously there are some things I would not share to my main insta so one that I think I've gone with for this there are a few mainly all after I've had a drink won't lie probably this video I'm gonna insert it on the screen <laughs> Molly, you're ginger. <laughs> to be honest, right, it's not that bad. I just hate us. So this video was taken after Summer in the City 2019. I had got really quite drunk. That's one of the wildest nights out I've ever had. And we were walking from somebody's Airbnb to the hotel that a lot of youtubers stay at i actually can't remember the name of it now but it's at the xl in london and the walk was quite a distance and i was really quite drunk and i hate i hate me i hate all of us because i hate those people that walk through the street with a speaker but that was us and basically that video is eve recording me walking in a not straight line calling me ginger from the back i don't even know why she's like you look ginger or something and then i got really riled up and was shouting and singing and there are a lot of videos like that from that night i'll insert another here no. Not proud. Don't let me tell That's probably the most embarrassing on my private Insta. There's a lot of other night out ones though that are kind of the similar, a similar vibe. The next one is an easy one. Somebody said your lock screen and I will screenshot it and put it on the screen, but this is my lock screen. It is a photo of me and my boyfriend on Christmas day this year. Really love the photo. I'm wearing this jumper in it. I mean, a lot of these are alcohol related. Do you guys really think I'm up to something when I've had a drink apparently? A photo from Australia that you would not post to Instagram, but makes you laugh. I just think this picture is hilarious. I promise not to go into loads of Australia photos during this video but this is too funny to not show like what is that wetsuit it's just so embarrassing it's so funny basically you have to always wear sting suits if you go in the water in australia because there's like stingrays and a million things that can kill you so yeah it was a fashion icon <laughs> the last photo that you've uploaded to your private instagram okay um it's not embarrassing my private insta has been dead for like a whole year because i haven't gone out or done anything that's worth posting on there but the last picture is from a walk i went on last week the back of my head and and it's captioned Beverly's red light district apart from it's filled with builders laughing at you taking photos because I went on a walk took this picture a load of builders opposite me were like hey, do you want me to take your photo do you want me to be in your picture and I was like Argh. so that's my most recent very boring I'm so sorry the only reason I wouldn't put that on my main is because the photo is bad quality and like I don't like it enough you when you were the most drunk I've spoke about this story time before so it's not like a new story but I think that there's definitely videos and pictures that I haven't shown. So there's a handful. This is one picture. And then I will put on the screen a video of me just, I don't even know what I'm saying, to be honest. Like, I'm just laughing. So I'm looking at the sky. I've had a lot of Ow! I've had a lot of food. I'm very, I'm very happy. And then I'll play the audio from this because I'm filming this random guy on the beach. I have no idea who he is. Don't remember really filming this at all, but just I'm gonna play the audio because I don't want to put him in the video. What's up everyone? How's it going? My name's Oh, his name's Lu Luca. I'm from Kingston upon Thames. Kingston upon Thames? Yeah, Kingston upon Thames. 
I do think I put some of that clip in the Australia vlogs actually. I've just remembered watching it back. However, poor guy, I don't have a clue who he is, but Luca from Kingston upon Thames, if you're watching, I'm so sorry for harassing you on the beach. Hope you had a nice time in Australia. And there hasn't been that many times where I've been really drunk because I don't actually really like it. I love going out and I love going clubbing, but I am also a firm believer in that you don't have to be blackout drunk to have a good time. In fact, if anything, it makes it worse because the next day is just almost makes it not worth the night before. Okay, the next one is is the day that you first got Lottie. A lot of people asked about Lottie, okay. So this is the day we brought her home in the car. She sat on my knee the whole drive home. We actually got her from Grimsby, which is just over the bridge from us. It's about an hour away. And then I love this photo. This is her eating from her food bowl for the first time. But my dad and my brother are just like peeking around the corner, looking at her, she's so small. And then this is her with my vlogging camera. The day, the evening that we brought her home. She's honestly a different colored dog. Like I look at this picture that's on the screen and I just think, Lottie, did you have a, a hair transformation? I think as she lost her puppy coat, she got a lot lighter fur because now she's basically a white dog, but when we got her, she was like a brown dog. I'm getting a bit excited, I'm getting a bit warm. I might need to open the window, I'm sat by the radiator. Is that sound gonna be really annoying? Can you hear the wind? Is the candle gonna go out? <laughs> Let's see. Your best memory from art uni. So I saw this one and I was like, hmm. Do I have any? I went through my photos from Leeds and actually there are a lot of really, really good memories that I look back on with like fond feelings. I'm not hateful towards it. So this was one of my favorite, favorite nights. I was with my friend Eleanor. Um, we had this incredible dessert. I'll put it on the screen. We were at a restaurant called Tattoo. Not very student-y. We'd gone out for like a full on meal. I think it was for finishing our coursework or something to do with uni. Anyway, the day ended and we went for dinner and we just had the best evening. Like one of my favorite evenings that I had the whole time. This is the inside of the restaurant, so pretty. This is me and Eleanor in the toilets. I had had some cocktails, I won't lie. And then I took this photo walking through the street. Oh my God, it was on my dad's birthday. <laughs> anyway, we were walking through the street back to our flat and it was quite a walk, like 20 minutes. And we were both like, not drunk, but just happy, like laughing at everything. And I remember taking this photo feeling like for the first time I felt like I belonged in the city. Like I felt like Leeds had become a second home. I just remember getting back and being like, oh, you know what? This city is amazing. And it took me a long time to differentiate between I don't like Leeds and I don't like uni. And I think this was around the time where I realized actually I love Leeds. Show us a photo from one year ago today. So I'm so sorry for those of you that don't want to see Oz. This is going to be another Oz one. Um, and this was the picture from a year ago today. I was in the town of 1770. I actually didn't love 1770 but these photos are really cool got this little video of me walking through the forest we just had a really chill day actually so yeah cool photos cool pictures very hot i remember it being so hot somebody said the first time you ever met tom so i don't have any photos of the two of us together but i met tom at my year 11 prom which will be five years ago in the summer wow and this is a photo of me at my year 11 prom i'm sure some of you might remember that it was a long time ago though so i wore this gorgeous lilac dress here are some photos of me and my friends. And the girl that I'm stood next to in this picture here is actually my friend Katie. Sort of introduced me to Tom, to be honest. She'd gone to primary school with him, so she knew him from when she was about four. Um, and later that evening, she actually introduced us. And yeah, that was kind of the beginning. But we didn't get together until February and we met in the June of the year before. So it was like a long time. A drunk picture of you and Tom. Now there are not many of these. Tom doesn't really drink, which is like fine by me. He'll drink on a night out. It's not like he's completely teetotal but he just doesn't really drink like neither of us drink to get drunk we both just drink because we like the alcohol that we're drinking which i think is actually more unusual like a lot of people especially i think my age drink because they want to get drunk not because they like the drink which is actually probably slightly better because i genuinely like the taste of alcohol which is a concern because of that there aren't that many pictures of tom and i drunk but these are some of my favorites i just think they're so so funny uh so this is tom and i at a house party in leeds i'll put the picture on here I couldn't tell you whose flat this is. I'm pretty sure that it was a girl I met through doing a podcast. It might not have even been her flat. I'm pretty sure it was her that we went with, but I don't know whose flat it was that we were in. Anyway, we were sat on the stairs and there's a whole series of photos. We're both just laughing. I'll insert a couple of the videos overlaid whilst I'm speaking. I mean, the night out was amazing. And the best part about what had happened was that 
Tom had found, and I'm not too sure where from, somebody else's rave glasses. So this video here just cracks me up. I absolutely love it. We had the best time. Tom had these random glasses on that he found off the floor. Um, and there are so many things that happened that night. It was just weird, to be honest. We made really good friends with this girl who was so lovely. And I'm thinking about this whole evening in, in coronavirus time. And I'm just thinking that's actually Ming in. But basically this girl was sick while we were out, which happens all the time, you know, but she was sick while we were actually on the dance floor, which just is not fortunate. However, she managed to time it perfectly and was sick into her drink which thinking about it now is disgusting she didn't know what to do with it so she just kind of like put it behind her now i think about it that's actually so disgusting but when i was drunk i didn't care i thought it was funny this whole night was a massive mess by the way so yeah that was one of the best nights out we'd had uh tom looks great in all the photos and the video this is taking a whole different tone when you are at your saddest and nobody knew there aren't that many times when nobody knew because i feel like i'm pretty good at telling people however this was definitely a time where i was putting on quite a lot of an act a lot of the time. This is a photo of me and Gabby and I don't think either of us were in a particularly good place but we went to Manchester, we went to see Ed Sheeran in concert. The concert was absolutely amazing. But I just know that I was not in a good place at the time. The whole, the whole of that year was not a good year really but it was just a very up and down year and I remember specifically this day being really glad that I'd gone to this concert because it was like a, just a bit of escapism um, but also just knowing that I was not very happy. Here's a photo from the concert. I miss concerts i'm not gonna lie so 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 much a risky pic that you wouldn't want on the internet well it depends what kind of risky picture you mean i actually don't really have any my camera roll is so so dead defeating the point by putting it on the internet aren't i but these photos of me pole dancing aren't my proudest moment um, and i'm not gonna lie i wasn't even really drunk i was i'd had a drink but i wasn't like drunk i just have this thing where if there's a pole i will dance on it because it's funny i can't pole dance i wish i could but it's just amusing this video is awful i don't really know what i'm doing and the worst part is it's it's attached to a sink i'm standing on a sink oh god that's a horrible video yeah enough of that put them on the internet anyway now haven't i okay next one you dream house either interior or exterior i don't have these in my camera roll however i have houses that i look at regularly on right move here are some examples this and this this kind of kitchen this kind of outside i do have a very specific vision i like houses that aren't new builds but that are quite modern i mean obviously don't know circumstances but i don't really think i want to move into a new build house ever i would love to get a slightly older house and have it completely modernized maybe not the outside but definitely the inside and i think that yeah i am quite picky i'm very specific and i do worry that when i come to want to move out i'm going to be super picky which is not ideal but i also love the idea of eventually building my own house which is something that tom and i speak about all the time a mad house party okay well the maddest situation i've ever been in was the summer in the city after party and i haven't saved them on my phone but if i can find the photos on my laptop which i think i have everybody and the dog literally actually there were no dogs so. there. went to this airbnb party after summer in the city like the parties after summer in the city are unlike anything else i've ever been to and this one particular time there must have been about 100 people it was just madness the police were called it was just a lot and i don't even really know how we ended up there you know when you just know somebody that knows somebody that's going to a party and then you end up there and it's like oh my god there's so many people here and every creator was there like but in terms of like schoolhouse party i do have some photos again a lot of them i can't share because the people won't want to be in them but this is somebody else has taken this and i'm not even too sure why of me and tom it looks like we're kissing we're actually not kissing i really took these photos because we'd only just got together and was like oh, look they're kissing in this picture but we weren't we were resting our foreheads on each other and just like having a chat tom and i are just really weird to be honest but we were just having a conversation in the middle of the dance Dance floor, dance floor, somebody's living room. Head, forehead to forehead. Oh, it's raining inside, good. The reason this was a particularly mad night was because this was the evening that I speak about in videos sometimes where I say a lot got broken at this house party, that a lot of people were there that like initially maybe weren't invited. A lot happened, like not personally to me, but like people getting together, people kissing people they shouldn't have been, like a lot happened. So this night, these are the only photos I have. I don't think I took many pictures, but one of the funniest videos on your phone okay this isn't one of the funniest but this is the thing that's made me laugh most recently my friend katie sent me this video yesterday i'm gonna play it it just cracks me up because i don't know what's happening in it i think i was in year 11 maths and this is why my maths grade was not what i was predicted still did fine like credit where it's due but if you ever wondered what i was like in school i was this person yeah katie and i used to get into trouble a fair amount for laughing and talking and giggling 
and this this just really made me laugh the other day because where is my nose in the video like why does my nose squash down flat i actually don't think i have any cartilage in this bit of my nose where normal people have like cartilage all the way down i just don't have that okay next one the very first photo you have of you and erin september 2004 baby this was our first day at school i have known erin for my whole memorable life i don't remember a time where i didn't know erin and this was september 2004 we look pretty cute if i say so myself a photo from a school trip okay i mean i did do quite a lot of school trips but this is one that stands out because there are a lot of photos on my facebook from this trip this is me and katie in year nine pretending to do titanic on the Dover to Calais crossing, uh, the ferry crossing. And then this is us at Chateau Beaumont, which a lot of you guys always comment that you did it too. I think it's like a year nine residential, like quite a lot of people go, it's in France, it's in Laval. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay, the next one. <laughs> the day that you hit 100,000 subscribers. Okay, fun fact about this day, I was actually bloody miserable. I hated being in Leeds at this point so so much to the point where I desperately wanted to come home. I was so upset that I hit 100,000 just by myself in my flat in Leeds because I just felt like I'd been working so hard towards 100,000 subscribers that when it came it just felt anticlimactic because I'd, I was just by myself. However these are some photos of what I got up to during the day beforehand. Tom and I actually went around an art gallery, these are some pictures, Tom took some really nice photos of me. Like we like to go around museums we are so wild aren't we like i feel like i'm describing us as if we're 50 but both of us like creative themed museums and they have a really cool art museum in leeds and then we also did have some cocktails from revs at the lunchtime or this might have been the evening before i'm not sure the dates are all a bit confused but this was the weekend that i hit 100k so not all bad memories and then this is the screenshot of 100,000 subscribers probably still one of my proudest career highlights you and one of your proudest achievements again me and my 100k subscriber plaque i was actually with lizzie when these photos were taken so here is lizzie with my 100,000 subscriber plaque this was like a really really proud moment for me i do feel as though i really worked really hard to get to 100,000 subscribers so yeah you and your ex-boyfriend <laughs> i mean i have obviously quite a collection of photos of the two of us and I, I do still have them like to be honest there's no hard feelings like there's no bitter feelings so i'm gonna blur his face just because again it's not fair um but these are some pictures um yeah there, there are there are good memories from this i don't take this relationship and look at it as just bad memories definitely not and it taught me a lot about the relationship i'm in now yeah i don't know i feel weird talking about it no hard feelings and definitely some good memories <laughs> so sorry if you're watching <laughs> hope you're good okay a picture of your hair when you dyed it yourself what is this i dip dyed my hair red don't know why i did it really don't know why i did it also my hair's curly so dip dye doesn't work that well on curly hair because it just looks a bit mishmash wasn't great i got into a lot of trouble at school my school was super strict on hair dye for some reason the paris squad this is something that i always get in messages about whenever i do like a story time video or like a ask me a question video this is always up there so i don't really know what you want to know because the photos are all still on instagram these are some pictures of me in paris this was october 2016 so it's coming up five years ago um which is an explanation in itself as to why we're not like a friendship group also we're all very different people but these are pictures of me eve Fab Hannah, Jasmine and Sophie, Anastasia, Caitlin and looking for Lewis. Only good memories from this trip, the best trip and at the time it, it was like iconic, it was just a thing and I loved it and I don't have any hard feelings again. Favourite brand deal that you have ever done? This is a tricky one. I'm always blown away whenever Hollister want to work with me or Gilly Hicks want to work with me even though they're definitely not like the most paid and I definitely think that you know I've taken worked with other brands that I love equally however just from a personal point of view in terms of content I loved the content I created for Gilly Hicks in the summer last year I really genuinely loved it so maybe maybe Gilly Hicks because I was pretty proud of that it's like a household name Hollister is a well-known brand I felt pretty like whoa Amazon. Amazon was rogue and so bizarre. I mean, I think my favourite thing that I've ever done was be gifted my trips in Australia. Like the first, the first two tour groups that I did, sorry, were gifted. And that's probably the best thing that has ever happened to me because that was the main incentive for me to be able to go. Like I'd thought about it on and off. And then when Welcome to Travel reached out and was like, well, if you do come, we'd love to have you on our tour for a week. That was like what sold it to me. I was going to go anyway, but that was obviously like such a big, a big deal breaker. So probably that, even though it's not, I wasn't like paid, I wasn't sponsored, but 
but you know how it works. Your best photography A-level pictures. I would say these. I'm going to flash like four through the screen here because I just loved these. As I said in my video last week, heavily inspired by Brandon Walfall. Absolutely loved him working with neon lights, which is where the inspo for these came from. When you were sad, but you weren't showing it online, which is kind of different, I guess, because my friends did know that I was quite down at this point, but December 2016 was this? Yeah, not a good time. These photos are from when I went to see Lizzie. Lizzie knew that I was quite all over the shop. I just felt very like, I was so, so busy all the time and I was burning myself out. And also there was a lot of stuff going on and there was a boy involved and there was just a lot of stuff going on basically. And these screenshots from this time just really sum it up. Like I'm so dramatic. Look at what I've screenshotted here. I was screenshotting quotes. I felt just like really on edge. And I think that the new year, that year was a big turning point where I was like, 2017 is not gonna be the same. We're not taking this energy and like wasting my time on other people. Oh, my phone is ringing. I'm working. I hate declining calls. I'm just gonna let it ring off. A lot of things in my memory really bring me back to this time. So like King's Cross, I was in King's Cross like pretty much every single week. I went to London so much this month. The Little Mix album, which was called Glory Days. Can't listen to it because that month that was all I played. So I hear it now and I'm like, ugh. Somebody said the best meal you've ever had. Simple, easy. This pasta in Australia, 10 out of 10. If I could eat this every day, I literally would. It was just, Okay, two more. You in year seven. Ugh, nobody needs to see this, but here is a picture of me in year seven. I'm sorry, sorry for hurting your eyes with this horrible image. Okay, the last one is your most recent story post of your private Instagram. This feels like a good place to end it. The last thing I posted on my Instagram story, <laughs> I'm just outing myself now, is a screenshot of Alfie Days liking one of my Instagram reels, which is just bizarre because he doesn't follow me and I don't know how he would have seen it. I just thought it was so weird, so I screenshotted it and I put it on my private story and I was like, okie dokie then. Oh my God, I completely forgot about this night out. That was another wild night out. We went to Portugal and we were again, just quite drunk in the street. I will insert the video that I'm talking about on the screen. I'm so sorry, even Lydia for doing you dirty, but it's too funny to not post. <laughs> It was just a mood, like we were so happy. It was a good time. Two things that can't physically happen right now, holidays and going clubbing. I think that's where we're gonna end it guys. As you can see, there's not a great deal of like scandalous content on my private Instagram. That's not really what it's about, but also it's partly because nothing's happened recently. Like me sitting in my room all day, I'm not providing that much like entertainment. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you feel like you might've got to know me a tiny bit better. And I've told you some things that I maybe haven't shown before or some times where maybe you thought I was having a great time, but actually I wasn't really having a great time. And that's okay. I think it also backs up the idea that not everything you see online is as it seems really behind the camera which is so important and is always the kind of message that i'm trying to get across if you have enjoyed this video do give it a huge thumbs up as i said at the beginning i'm so excited for the content that i have coming in february because i've really planned it out and thought about it and i think you're going to really enjoy it so don't forget to follow me over on instagram if you want to see more content like this more challenges like this or just pictures of my life behind the scenes instagram is where i'm the most active all the time but other than that i shall see you guys on saturday with a weekly vlog have a really good rest of your week and i shall see you then bye